Welcome back. How's it going, folks? Today we have a fun one that I'm super excited about and I don't think John's excited about at all. We found these a while back, the Top Flight X-Outs, and I, John's talked about these a lot. These were, yeah, he didn't enjoy hitting these as a kid. No, whenever we do a golf ball review, I always say, well, at least it doesn't <laughs> feel like a Top Rock. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah. This is like a good uh, rite of passage for anybody new to golf. You gotta hit Hogan Blades, some old Persimmon Woods, and then at the opposite end of the spectrum, <laughs> you gotta hit yourself some Top Rocks. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna go out and play four holes, see what we can shoot. And then we're gonna uh, compare it to a modern golf ball on a launch monitor, see if it's uh, still the longest golf yeah. ball. What is it? The longest balls. Oh. And that's trademark, so. Yeah, see, if that, well, I don't even know if the trademark's still in existence. So. Yeah, I don't know how trademarks, no. how long those last, but uh, we're gonna go out on the course <laughs> and see if these are still the as longest. good as I remember. <laughs> we'll meet you out on the course. Yep. First hole here, 300 yard par four. Ashley's very excited about this little challenge right here. We're gonna play from the red slash gold tees. That's what we played with my dad. So the goal is to break, what is it? We were three under. So either, I guess we tie or break that. That's the goal for today. Uh, top rocks, guys. Let me know in the comments if you played these in your junior golf or just back in the day. These are pretty much all I rocked in junior golf and uh, my wrists and my elbows definitely still remember them, so. I'm a little less excited now because I just realized what X out means. It means it's like a reject defect. Yeah, they're kind of like a defect. So you're getting like a budget. Although this was the longest golf ball. That was their slogan. The longest golf ball of their day. So we're going to get out here and see if that still holds true. You excited? A little less, but I'm still excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Par four, 300 yards. That was crushed. <laughs> All right, that was definitely not the worst. I think that was one of the, the longest drives I've hit in a while here. You're getting to be really good. Oh, man. Ashley's still all smiles over there. That was one of the longest drives I've seen her hit in a long time. Luckily though, it is a, like 100 degrees out, so we're not gonna get any cold winter weather stingers like I'm used to. I didn't hit mine very good, so I think we're probably going with Ashley's, although we might find mine and have a shot in the woods, but Ashley, right down the middle of the fairway, absolutely killed it. You've been crushing it lately. Yeah, maybe I should switch to these. <laughs> <laughs> One shot and she's already sold on a, I think these are like 20 or 30 years old. Yeah. I would imagine, I don't know. There's a number on the box, maybe we should call it. All right, mine's over there in the woods and we don't really have a shot going 160 yards with a seven wood right here. Ooh. A little bit thin. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll take John's. All right, we're definitely taking John's and I kind of get what John's talking about now. That didn't feel the best. If you hit these thin, you're not going to forget them. <laughs> Yours sounded a little strange too, Yeah, right? I hit it thin, but luckily I've got some of the softest irons that you'll ever hit, so I kind of counteracted it. Cool. And we hit it to about 10 feet, so. <laughs> Hopefully we can make a birdie. We don't have my dad here putting for I us know. today though. He was on fire, so. He was. <laughs> See if we can't keep the roll without him. On our own. On our own. <laughs> Ooh, stayed straight. I thought that was breaking right. Yeah. No, it just breaks. Huh. Par on the first hole. I didn't think that was gonna break that way, but. Yeah, we need to, we need to practice our uh, putting. <laughs> But we uh, actually brought the launch monitor out, so on the last hole, we'll compare it to a modern golf ball. Yes. See if it really is the longest golf ball as it claims. Yeah, it has a trademark. I don't know yeah. if the trademark has expired, so <laughs> it's, it's false advertising. If it's not the longest golf ball, it says it on the box. <laughs> yeah, we really should call that number. <laughs> yeah. so I tried to see on the box if there was a date, but there's not a date, so. No. I don't know. 130 yards, John's going with a niner into the wind. Couldn't tell if I mishit that. Ashley's going with the seven wood. Oh, that's crushed. Bad bounce. Yeah. All right, well, might be able to chip it in for birdie. We are just short of the green here, but if you've watched the last few videos, Ashley has been a chipping machine. She's chipped in like two or three times, so. We still got birdie, plus it's a par five, so we can make eagle there and still get our goal of three or four under. It's up to you right here, though. Oh, pressure. Magician around the greens. That ball almost looked like it checked up, but I think it was just uphill. We got about six or seven feet right here for par. Still make eagle and birdie on number three and four. Oh, 
Huh. These are just not breaking how I think they are today. I think our goal of three or four under might be a little ambitious and a little out of reach right now, but we could still eagle this hole. That would put us to one under. Then uh, I did drive the green the last time on that par four. I just yeah. remembered that. So we could go eagle, eagle, but uh, we're, we're definitely not doing the ball justice right now. We uh, are not putting at all very good. Uh, at all very good. Was that English? Kind of. I think we just need your dad right now. Something's just like off. Yeah. Know. The, the ball hasn't performed bad at all. It's just been our putting. Yeah, so, uh, us, not the ball. <laughs> par five, I think it's like 425 yards. Last time we had a seven iron left in. So me and you, we need to make an eagle here. Cool. Ow. Did that not hurt your ears? Yes. We're, we're definitely gonna have to do some audio manipulation on that one or everybody with headphones is just, uh, their ears are bleeding. Yeah, my driver is already very obnoxious. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's in the middle of the fairway so I should be able to give it a rip. The sound of Ashley's driver in the top flight brought me back to my junior days on the driving range. Our driving range had uh, top flights and I actually remember a couple of my friends cracking the face of their drivers with them. They were using the uh, R500 series which was kind of uh, notorious from TaylorMade to uh, crack the face on those but paired that up with the top flight and uh, you're going to crack a face probably. Especially not because they're both 30 years old but performance wise I haven't really noticed a difference. It's within five yards of what I'm used to hitting so the sound though might be a deal breaker <laughs> might be a deal breaker i'm definitely interested to see how these uh, stack up on the old launch monitor versus a modern golf ball but we got 176 yards back pin location need to make an eagle that's a new goal okay. an eagle on this hole or the next hole and that's our new yeah yeah i'm kind of nervous but we're going for it i'm gonna let john go first because i don't want to lose one of these there's water to the right We got a putt at it. Cool. Mine's on the green, but Ashley wants to try one with her iron. She hasn't hit one with an iron yet. <laughs> That's pretty good. A little bit to the right. Ended up just short of the green. We're gonna have to chip one in. Take the bounce, roll. Oh. <laughs> bounce, roll. There's a hill there. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> Twelve feet for birdie. The guy just snapped his club over his leg. <laughs> Whoa. Oh man, I don't know if that was in. Did that lip out or did I hit the, th the floaty? It's got like a weird edge. Yep. Oh. <laughs> now we have to show them. <laughs> Yeah, we both hit this right here. It's like, you can tell there, there's like a half a, or a quarter of an inch that's missing from the, uh, yeah. You guys let us know if that counts. I don't think they've replaced this hole since the last time we played here. All the pin placements have been exactly the same. Yeah, that's- Also, that guy just snapped his shaft in front of us. That was a little intimidating to uh, putt in front of. Yeah, <laughs> not sure if we're counting that one. That was just a little too weird. Yeah, we both hit the exact yeah. same spot. And, and I thought the same thing. Both of them I thought were in, so. Yeah, but either way, we still have one more chance to make an eagle so yeah we're either even par or one over still but eh. new goal we've established <laughs> yeah. we'll just keep on setting the bar lower yeah. as we go on but be like make... hey we finished four holes good job guys yeah, we gotta make an eagle <laughs> that, that would uh, top rock eagle I, I, i'd be happy with that yeah so. 220 yard par four ash is going to try and cut the corner over that bunker if she does that i'm probably going to try and go over the tree so we can make that elusive eagle Get through there. I think we'll have a shot from it. Yeah, we'll have a shot from there. Oh, that's in the road. Lots going on. We got motorcycles. We got a live band on a golf course, which I've never understood, but we got a tricky shot over here. Bad lie over a bunker, tight pin location. Gotta hold it. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna cut it. John's gotta hold this one. Oh! 
<laughs> you see that? I got a top rock to back up. That's awesome. Check this out. I don't know if you could see the ball mark. Where's the ball mark? Might be all the way up there. We'll have to play that back in slow motion, but that thing definitely backed up. That's the first time I've ever backed up a top flight, so there's progress. Now we got probably, what did you say, 20 feet for a birdie? That live music is like 700 yards away and it sounds like it's right on top of us. You can hear it the whole course. Oh man, that was close. I didn't realize you were going, my bad. Top rock challenge in the books. We're still gonna test the ball out on the launch monitor, but I think we failed the top rock challenge pretty hard. We shot either like even par or one over, so definitely not very good. I think we were just missing my dad. Him out here having a good time. He held us together, he was the glue. Yeah, he was definitely the glue, but we're gonna go two top flights and then two Strix on, so then Ashley is going to do, what do you wanna do? Probably just my normal Wilson. You going versus the Wilson? Yeah. I might just do one of each. It's 100 degrees out here, so let's see uh, how this uh, 20 or 30 year old golf ball stacks up. Ashley's getting us started off here. She's going with her Wilson first. Carry is 132.8 yards. Dang. You, I keep on saying dang. That's all the words I have. She's gained like 20 yards since the last time we had the launch monitor. All right, let's go with the top flight next. Carry is 102.2 yards. Didn't carry quite as far. Yeah. I think that might be almost as far out there though. I think it rolled out. We'll go check that, but I'm gonna hit two now. John's gonna go rapid fire and then we're gonna look at the stats after. Let's take a quick look at the numbers before we go up and see how far they actually went. Launch monitor numbers. Oh man. Club head speed is way down for me today. Although I am playing with a like 42 inch driver right now. It's shorter than Ashley's uh, ladies driver. But we got ball speed, 150 was the highest. That was a top flight. Furthest distance was the top flight. This ball is 20 or 30 years old. I'm not hitting the ball great, so it's not a great test, but I mean, those numbers are better with the top flight, which is kind of surprising. So let's go see. I think you hit your Wilson a little bit further, but I think they rolled out to the same distance, so. Let's go take a look and see where those ended up and do a little roundup. All right, my top light's here, and I think, I don't actually even, oh, there we go. That's like actually like 30 yards further. Yeah, I'm not Wilson. sure how far the uh, launch monitor said, but the Wilson definitely went further. Yeah, that's a Although, roll. Yeah, I think you hit the Wilson better, so. Yeah. Well, let's go see where mine ended up. It's always interesting to see which one goes further, like in real life yeah, versus not the, the launch, launch monitor. monitor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is just how our tests go. Got a bug flying in my face. We've been walking around for like 10 minutes trying to find that last trick on. We found uh, two, the two top flights and then that Strixon up there by the green, but the shortest one that we can find is the top flight. And then, where's okay. the other orange? Oh, it's right there. Man, I am losing it. I thought Ashley was uh, messing with me and picks it up. There's the other top flight orange, and then up by the green is the uh, neon Strixon, so. One of them. Yeah, who knows where the other Strixon went. Luckily, that's an expensive golf ball, so I lost that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We definitely failed the Top Rock Challenge, so. Yeah. You still excited? Were you uh, as excited as you thought you were gonna be testing no, it out? but they weren't as bad as you said they were gonna be. So yeah. Somewhere in the middle. Guys, let us know in the comments if you've hit these in the winter and you miss hit them, especially with like an old blade, steel shafted, something like that. That doesn't sound pleasant for me anyways. Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about if you've hit these before, but definitely surprising that it still went pretty dang far. And I mean, I got one to spin on the uh, last hole, so. Yeah. Let us know what you guys want us to test next. Maybe some like old golf clubs to go with these old golf balls. Or maybe since I use this golf ball in high school, we can test them with my high school yeah, golf clubs. Yeah, you still have all your old high school clubs. So. Yeah, that would be fun. So let us know if you want us to see that. You want us to see that. If you want to see that. So yeah, <laughs> we're rambling. It's hot. We'll see you next time. See you guys.